Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about hitting a HTTPS REST endpoint directly from your ESP8266 using the Arduino IDE. For an example I'm going to use the Reddit API. I'm also going to include in the video description links to some other libraries that I've created that wrap other APIs. There's one for the Telegram Messenger, Google Maps, IFTTT and the YouTube Statistics API. The first thing we want to do is read the documentation for the API we want to connect to. Most of Reddit's API endpoints require authentication, but the ones for getting posts from a subreddit do not. We should be able to handle the authentication on the Arduino if we wanted to, but for the purpose of a simple example we will stick to something that does not need to handle it. Say we want to make a device that for a given subreddit, let's use our Arduino as an example, displays the title of the most recent post on a screen. Reddit has a slash new endpoint. This returns a list of posts for a given subreddit ordered by the newest first. It's difficult to test the API calls on an Arduino, so you want to test it out on a PC first to make sure everything's working okay. So this is a sample request, and as you can see it returns JSON, but there's too much data here for us to handle on the Arduino. There is a limit parameter that defaults to 25, so at the moment we're getting the 25 most recent posts, but seeing as we only want to display the title of the most recent post, we only actually need to get one back, so we can set that limit to be one. Now we're only getting one post back, and this is much more manageable for us on the Arduino. Now we need to code this up for the Arduino. I'm gonna start with a skeleton sketch, that just connects to the Wi-Fi, then enters the loop, and every minute we'll call this get title of newest post, which we'll have to implement. So rather than watching me fumble through typing in the code, I'm going to now just show you the completed code and talk through it. So the first thing we needed to do, because it's a JSON response, we need to include the Arduino JSON library. It is possible to parse out the data yourself using index of etc but I find this is much easier to just use the JSON library. We also need to use the Wi-Fi client secure library. This comes as part of the ESP Arduino core so you should already have it installed. So this is an SSL client so it can talk to HTTPS endpoints. The first thing we need to do with the get title of newest post function is to define some variables up the top. I'll talk through these in detail as we're using them. The first one we're going to use is this host one. So the host is the API without any HTTPS or without anything at the end of it. So for the Reddit API, it's api.reddit.com. We're going to use client.connect, which the first parameter it takes is host and then the second is the port number. For HTTPS requests this is nearly always 443 and then we'll just print out when it connects. We're going to build up the URL that we need so it was slash or slash the name of the subreddit so that's been passed into the function and then it was slash new and then we're passing in the parameter limit equals one. And we're just going to print that to console to make sure that it looks valid. We will then write it into the client, uh, get space, the URL that we built up, space, this HTTP slash 1.1. And then after that, we'll also print in the following headers, a host one, which is the same as the client.connect host we did and a user agent. The Reddit API specifies that it wants a user agent, so this can be whatever you want, but it needs to be there. And then to indicate that we're finished sending headers, we print an empty line. So now we want to implement a timeout. We need this so that the device doesn't hang if you don't have internet connection anymore or the Reddit API is not available. So what we do is we take the millis of now and then we keep comparing it to the millis of the loop and make sure that that is still less than 1500 or 1 1.5 seconds 
So if we don't get a response within 1.5 seconds, we will exit out and we'll consider it timed out. So then what we do is we check the client to see does it have any response for us. So if this client that available is true, it means that the API is responded. So what we have to do is we have to read the characters one by one out. You can print them here to see it coming out, but it's pretty slow, so I wouldn't leave that in. So this part is a small bit complicated. You'll get the headers back first, and then you'll get the body. So what we need to do is actually ignore the headers because we're not interested in them. So basically what we're doing is we're checking for if two blank new line characters come in a row, that means that that's the end of the header and now the body is next. So basically we'll mark finished headers equals true when the last character we received was a new line and the current character we received is a new line. So we'll start populating the body at that stage. We'll populate a headers object as well in case there was something that you wanted to pull back from the headers, but from this example we're not going to do it. We also want to mark that we got a response at all because when we're finished this while loop here we need to break out of the outer while loop so it's not spending that 1.5 seconds even if the data came back straight away. So then what we're doing is defining a dynamic JSON buffer. This is part of the Arduino JSON library. The dynamic JSON buffer suits the ESP8266 better than the Arduinos. So you might need to look into using a static buffer if you're using a regular Arduino. So what we do is we have the response and we want to use this JSON buffer that parse object and this will return us back a JSON object. So to check that the parse has been successful, we call this root.success. This will return true if it successfully parsed the JSON object and will return false if it didn't. So we'll just print a message to say that it failed to parse the JSON. So now we'll do a sanity check on our JSON object that it contains a data endpoint. What's the best thing to do here is to go back to where you did the request on your PC and follow the tree down to see what areas you need to select each way. So the post data is at the root of the object, then data, then children. Because we've only requested one, it'll always be the first one. So we can just put in a zero here, but you can step through that array if you want either, if you wanted to handle multiple posts. So we'll save the post object into another JSON object so it's easier to work with. So we'll check again as a sanity check that post contains data and then we'll extract the title from it which is post.data.title basically and we're going to cast that as a string. We now need to just return the title string that we saved up here. The skeleton project was already accepting a string response from the get title of newest post, but previously it was returning blank, but now it should have a title, so we should get into this if statement now. So now if we look at the serial output from the sketch, we'll see it connect into the Wi-Fi. It displays the connected message and the URL that we printed out and then it gets into the loop and displays the most recent title. It's kind of ironic, I'm not sure about my sketch, but uh, that is the title, as you can see, of the most new post on our Arduino. So hopefully this was pretty useful. Um, the next video I'll show you how to add this to an Arduino library so it's easier for you to pull into sketches or if you'd like to share whatever APIs you're wrapping uh, with other people, it makes it a lot easier for everybody. If you have any comments, please let me know. I'd love to hear any feedback you have. Thanks a lot.